My name is John Wellington Wells. I'm a dealer in magic and spells, in blessings and curses and netherfield purses and prophecies, witches and nails. If you want a proud foe to make tracks, if you'd melt a red jungle in wax, you've got to look in on the resident gin number 70 simmery axe. We've a first rate assortment of magic, and for raising a posthumous shade, with effects that are comic or tragic, there's no cheaper house in the trade. Love filter, we've quantities of it, and for knowledge, if anyone burns, we're keeping a very small profit, a profit who brings us unbounded returns. For he can prophesy with the wink of his IP with security into futurity. Sum up your history, clear up a mystery, human proclivity, for a nativity, for a nativity. He has answers oracular, bogey spectacular, touch upon tragical, mid so magical, facts astronomical, solemn or comical, and if you want it, he makes a reduction on taking a quantity. Oh, if anyone anything lacks, he'll find it already in stacks. If he'll only look in on the resident shin number 70 simmery acts. of ghosts and that without reflectors and creepy things with wings and gaunt and grisly specters he can fill you crowds of shrouds and horrify you vastly he can rack your brains with chains and gibberings grim and ghastly <clears throat> Then if you plan it, he changes organity with an urbanity full of satanity, vexes humanity with an inanity fatal to vanity, driving your foes to the verge of insanity. Barring tautology, in demonology, electrobiology, mystic nosology, spirit of philology, high class astrology, such as his knowledge, he isn't a man to require an apology. Oh. My name is John Wellington Wells. I'm a dealer in magic and spells, in blessings and curses and edifilled purses in prophecies, witches and elves. And if anyone anything lacks, he'll find it already in stacks. If he'll only look in on the resident gin number seventy, Simmery Axe.